friends. Hello. We are, gosh, we're where the girls take their horse lessons. And where we get a whole bunch of really yummy wild food. Yeah. Yes, thanks to the stable owners who understand how yummy it is to eat nettle and other things. And they've graciously said that we can collect. Well, they have a lot of it. So yeah, said, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a vehicle just drove up towards the stables and as the vehicle drove up and parked, I saw that black horse mm -hmm. suddenly ran for the entrance to the barn. To, yeah. And, and we can never know what's going on in another animal's mind, in another human's mind. Right. <laughs> but it sure seemed like that horse was excited for some reason to see it's human. And it makes me think about what you were saying about the wild food, mm. that there's these reciprocal relationships in life and you could look at that horse human relationship through a lot of different lenses but one is to look and say okay there's some things a human is asking of the horse and there's some things that the horse is asking of the human mm. and you could look at those in negative contexts or you could look at huh they have excitement to see each other maybe there's some really positive aspects to this it's kind of like that in in all of life we can look at things from so many different perspectives it makes me think actually about the nettles and how it first started with cow parsnip oh, several like a month ago and we here at the yeah farm, at yeah. the stables and we saw uh, one of the owners and we said hey could we harvest some of the young cow parsnip leaves and and she said, oh, my husband reacts really bad to those. Just take as much as you want. Just get it out of here. <laughs> and I thought, wow, how interesting is it? This must happen all the time where we walk by things that somebody else, quote, has or owns, but they don't really necessarily even want. Maybe and they want it gone. Yeah. And if you just are kind of paying attention and you think about things in a little bit of a different perspective and you're not afraid to approach other people, you can say, hey, I don't know what your relationship is to you know, the cow parsnip, for example, but our family really loves to eat it. And you know, would you mind if we harvest them? And there are so many opportunities in the world to essentially gather and bring things into your life that we just pass by because we're not even thinking of it. Yeah, this isn't, I think, a type of relationship that we're taught really well. We, we're more taught an exchange of goods. Yeah. And sometimes there's this similar but other type of relationship that can go on. And foraging, as you've brought up, I think creates a perfect example. Let's say you live next to somebody and they're out there trying to weed all the dandelions out of their yard. And you might say, hey, can I weed your dandelions? And then you're going to get the benefit of all the goodness of the dandelions. Flowers and oh. greens and the roots. And you're doing your neighbor a favor. Yeah. Yeah. So it's in a way, both people get a plus. So instead of one person gets something and the other person loses, mm -hmm. both people are getting a plus. This came to mind for me the other day when we were talking about, you and I talking about the girls coming in to the house with their muddy feet mm -hmm. and it's a cement floor so it's very it's not, easy to clean not really hard to clean but still as a parent i can get we're programmed oh, take off your boots why are you walking through the house with mud everywhere how many times have we told you <laughs> now maybe we're not quite that bad. We're not that bad. <laughs> but but you can feel i at least can feel that uh tendency that yeah. i think i've been taught to, to my get culture. this kind of I said this. Yeah. Yeah. And then conversely, you helping me realize maybe the action of me cleaning up the floor, if it ends up being me that does it, is not a waste of time or a negative thing, but it's actually as viable a, an activity as anything else that I can do. Again, that might see, sound strange from our Regular. normal perspective, mm -hmm. but from a mindfulness perspective, that task becomes an exercise in mindfulness. Well, and you could have gratitude. I mean, gratitude that you have healthy children who run around out in nature and actually can track mud in. And so there's yeah. a lot to be grateful for. 
Plus, it, you get a clean floor in the end. <laughs> I mean, when were you, obviously, when were you going to actually clean the floor anytime soon? That's how it's really like, oh, now I have to clean the floor. Now I know my floor is clean. <laughs> well, it makes me think of, we can just do one more example because yeah. you can go on and on. It makes me think of the lawn mowing, which oddly, I like to mow the lawn. Um, with the push mower, we have an electric push mower. We also have an old fashioned pushy push mower. And you could think of it as, oh, I have this lawn. Why do I have to mow it? Because we rent a space and they've asked that it's mowed. Yeah. Now, which also keeps the ticks down from past right. experience. It is, you know, you let the grass get a little longer. But you and I would probably have a very prairie. Tiny little, yeah, we'd yeah. have one little <laughs> lawn, a little green space, and then we get flowers and prairie and wild foods. Uh, but you just said to me the other day, I'm going to go mow run. And I thought, what is he talking about? And then he went, I'm going to run. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to do the lawnmower as a workout. And so then I tried it and it's really fun. If you think about like, <laughs> Oh yeah, well, I'm going to try to do this. I'm going to do it efficiently, but I'm going to go fast and I'm going to be strong. And yeah, it's again, I can look at that and say, Oh, here's something I have to do for somebody. They're getting a plus. I'm getting a negative. Or I can say, wow, I get to have this extra workout during my day. We both get pluses. So I guess the big question is, how can we reframe things in our life or keep an eye out for things that we can shift our perspective on so that it's a win-win for everybody? You can almost envision an entire world economy someday that is based on that both people winning, essentially. And when we think that way, we can bring it into our own life as a seed for this. Where can we start? And in the comments, maybe you can share yeah. some examples from your own life or some thoughts of where you might be able to implement this. Is there a relationship that you have in your life that could be shifted to this both parties getting an advantage from whatever it is <laughs> yeah i really 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 would like to hear it. it's so fun and there's endless possibility for creativity in this i mean we're obviously talking about more of the natural world but where could you take it into your relationships or your job or your health or other things like that so please 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 tell us some of your ideas or ways you've actually experienced this my friends this is just one of those examples of how we can look at our life and see the problems or challenges or whatever that we're facing and we can just try to deal with the symptoms of them or we can look at our underlying processing of the world the underlying foundational belief systems that we hold about the world and if we shift those then our actions can shift in amazing ways and it actually doesn't take as much effort to shift our actions it doesn't become making change in our life doesn't become about hunt and pecking mm. for the symptoms but it becomes about these big shifts that make everything feel more easeful yeah and fun i really think that we can retrain our brains it's basically just using you know a little bit of willpower <laughs> a little bit of awareness and just changing our perspectives until it becomes automatic oh look they're getting rid of their dandelions. I just was saying I wanted dandelions. Light bulb. Yeah. So share with us. It's great to talk with you and we can't wait to hear from you. Love to you all. Talk with you in the comments. <laughs>